Hi, all my beautiful peacocks out there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be over my winter fragrances. These are fragrances that I just pull out, you know, when the colder weather sets in. We've been, can you believe this, in Texas. We've been in the 50s, the 40s, and even the 30s. In fact, tonight I think it's supposed to go down in the 30s. So, kind of sporting my blue velvet kind of jacket and I just think it's really cute so I've been kind of excited you know pulling out my winter clothes we don't have winter very long here so when we do get those cold temperatures I enjoy it so with that being said I'd like to share with you some of my favorite perfumes that I enjoy during these winter months so let's go ahead and just jump right into the video Okay, some of these fragrances I've had for a while and some are actually new to my collection and I thought I would go ahead and share those with you. I didn't do a haul video. I have been kind of um, buying some perfumes here and there, but I thought I would go ahead and share some of those new fragrances with you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about the fragrances. I'm not going into a lot of depth about each fragrance. I will kind of hit on some keynotes and um, all I just want to say up front, all of the performances of these perfumes are beast mode. They will last and they will cut through that cold weather. They will, you know, stand up during the cold weather and, you know, just perform like nobody's business. And so these perfumes are really great to wear during the colder months. The first perfume I'm going to talk about, and you know, this is one of my favorites and this is uh, Dior's Addict. And a lot of people may think that, you know, this is more of a, you know, spring type fragrance. Um, I'm one to, I've talked about this before, I think, you know, this is a perfume that I could probably wear all year round. It could be a signature scent for me. That's how much I love this fragrance. So this perfume, like I said, it's a white floral musk with vanilla. It's very rich on the skin. It's very, very sexy. Um, it's a very feminine fragrance and I absolutely love this. This is Dior's Addict. Okay, the next fragrance is actually by Lancome, and this is the Tresor La Nuit, and I am in love with this fragrance. I've talked about this so much on my channel, but it's smokiness. It's got the, um, I think like a black rose. Um, it does have vanilla in it. It has the praline accord in it, and it's just smoky, sexy, deep, rich. Oh, it just envelops you and I absolutely love this during the winter time. Just spray this and it is so sexy and sultry and feminine. I just absolutely love it. You need to check this one out if you don't have this in your collection. This is Tresor La Nuit. Okay, the next perfume is by Armani and it is Armani Code Cashmere. And this is not the, the sateen or satin. I did order that one, so it is coming in and I would love to do a comparison video between the satin and the cashmere. If you would like to see that, leave me some comments down below and I can definitely do that for you but I'm very interested to see how these two compare so this one is so oh it is so good it has suede incense leather you know it's got a milky base it just smells so good it has jasmine sambaca in it and it has um, you know like a, just a little bit of floralness to it but it's sweet and in like leathery and it just smells so good and warm and inviting on the skin. And it's also another one of these sexy fragrances. I think this would be really good for like date night too. You know, sexy, sexy, sexy. I just absolutely love this during the winter months. It's so cozy. All of these fragrances that I'm even talking about are cozy and warm and just inviting. I absolutely love this fragrance. Armani Code Cashmere. Check this one out. Add it to your perfume arsenal. You will not regret it 
whatsoever. Okay, the next perfume, of course, I talked about this all year long. This is has become basically my signature scent. I love, love, love this fragrance. This is like my favorite fragrance of all time. I know that's kind of crazy, but it is. And this is Guerlain's Mon Guerlain. And this is the original. It's not the Floral, which I do have the Floral, but oh my goodness, the lavender, the vanilla, Mm, it's got jasmine in it. It's just so sweet on your skin, but it has kind of those light kind of floral notes, but it's so light and just so, oh my goodness, but it lasts forever. It's so good. It's so feminine and it's soft and a lot of people think it's very powdery, but I don't, I don't think that it's like too powdery on your skin. I think it's just perfect and it I wear this all year round. I mean, this fragrance is awesome because you can smell this, like, you know, it has great performance and people around you smell it and they, they always compliment me on this fragrance. If you do not have this fragrance, I highly, highly recommend this. This is like one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all time and I have spares you know, just in case they decide one day they're not going to make it anymore, which, you know, perfume companies, they tend to do that. Guerlain, you know, this is more of a niche fragrance here. And so I'm hoping that Guerlain doesn't discontinue this, but I know when they make um, fragrances, they do tend to start to discontinue them. I, I, so anyway, if you don't have this yet, you definitely need to try this out. This is Mon Guerlain. Okay, the next fragrance is by Mugler, 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 I don't know, but um, this is Alien. This is the original Alien um, Eau de Parfum, and this is Beast Mode. I mean, this thing is so good. I absolutely love this fragrance. This has um, like ambery notes. It's kind of woodsy. It just, you know, there's so much to it and there's not a, a whole lot of notes in it. And it's deep and rich and it, it's almost like it could be unisex in a way to me, I, to, in, in my opinion. It does lean towards the feminine side, but I think a man could wear this too. The performance of this is just incredible and it is very, um, like I said, ambery and floral and woodsy. It has those base notes of, you know, like a woodsy type fragrance, very earthy. It's just something different. If you don't have Alien in your collection, you need to try it, you need to sniff it. This is definitely something you should check out and I highly, highly recommend this. Very warm, very, very long lasting in the cold weather. Definitely try this out. This is Mugle Alien. Okay, the next fragrance is by Victor and Rolf. Love, love this fragrance. And this is Flower Bomb Nectar. Now, this has like a gunpowder accord in it. And it is so, like at first, when you first smell it, you can get that just a hint of kind of metallicness to it. But then on the skin, it's just like it just goes away. But you can smell it right here. I mean, I can, I can pick up on it. This has uh, vanilla in it. It has Sambach Jasmine in it. It just smells so good. It's very sweet. It's definitely a gourmand fragrance. And it's something that I think that you would absolutely love if you love sweeter fragrances. You love Flower Balm, you will love Flower Balm Nectar. More on the sweeter side, deeper, richer. Smells so good. So candy-like on the skin. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite Gourmand fragrances, I believe. Uh, this fragrance is so good and definitely is warm and cozy on the skin. Definitely try this one out. Victor and Rolf's Flower Bomb Nectar. Okay, the next fragrance I'm going to be talking about is by Tom Ford and it is Black Orchid. This is so good. It's so rich and it's so, it's kind of like it almost could be unisex. Um, it has that patchouli, sandalwood, it has uh, vanilla in it. It also has, you know, um, the dark chocolate notes, incense. It's just something extraordinary on the skin and it's so warm on the skin. It is so sexy and it's like 
nothing I think I've ever smelled before. Now they have one, Tom Ford has one, it's called Tobacco Vanilla, which I have not sniffed and I would love to smell it. But this one is just so good. And I do have the Velvet Orchid. It's a little bit lighter than this, but oh my God, this is so smooth and rich and then has sweetness to it, but kind of like that burning incense smell or woodsy smell smells so good. I absolutely love this. You need to ch at least, at least sniff this. Um, definitely don't blind buy. I would not recommend you blind buy this. You definitely need to sniff this one before you buy it. A lot of people, this is not their cup of tea. I absolutely love it. Check it out, Tom Ford Black Orchid. Okay, so this is the next fragrance and this is by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this is called Scandal. Scandal. <laughs> um, it says scandal on the front, but everybody calls it scandal. So I hope I'm saying that right, but I just love this packaging. It's so cute. Love those legs. I kind of featured this on my Instagram. Oh my goodness, when I got this in, the first thing was sweetness and gardenia. If you do not like gardenia, this is not a fragrance for you. But this has gardenia in it and it also has honey in it. So it's so sweet, but floral, but rich on the skin and it lasts forever. I mean, I have been wearing this and there's a couple that I just got in and I've been wearing them like nonstop and I'm just in love with these fragrances and I'm so glad I've added these to my collection because they have been working so well during these colder days that we've had and this is definitely something you need to check out. This is a Skandal and I think you would really, really love this. Gourmand lovers out there, I think you will really, really love this one. It's got that honey note in it and you can definitely smell the honey in this one. So if you're not a honey lover or you're not a gardenia lover, this is definitely not one that you would want. So if you do love honey and gardenia, definitely pick this one up. This one is really good, so sweet on the skin and just so rich and warm. Okay, this is by Lancome and this is Oud Bouquet and I absolutely love this. I did a review over it and oh my goodness. It has that rose in it, but it's so sweet on the skin. It has that vanilla in it. It has that like praline accord in there and it's just so rich and so silky smooth on the skin. It's just so gorgeous. I absolutely love this fragrance. If you have never tried Oud and you've always wanted to try a woodsier based kind of fragrance, Oud fragrance, this one I think would be a perfect introduction for you. This is a way to introduce you to an Oud perfume. So with all that, you know, put inside this bottle here, you know, you've got the floral notes that kind of dance around then the sweetness and that Oud. I think you would really, really love this perfume. Lancome's Oud Bouquet. Okay, the next fragrance, it's another Tom Ford fragrance, and this is new to my collection. This is Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme, and this perfume, oh my God, I was so, <laughs> this is like spicy, and it is so good, spicy and sweet. That's how I can, that's, that's the only thing that comes to mind when I smell this, are spices and sweetness richness and smooth, velvety, just so good. This has, you know, vanilla in it. It has amber and sandalwood and these base notes and that gives it that magnificent platform for that sweetness, goodness on the skin. And it's got citrus in it just at the very beginning, but it's not very citrusy. It's got spice in it and it's got ginger in it. It just smells amazing. I think you would definitely love this one. I, this was a blind buy for me and this was like the 
one of the best blind buys I think I've ever bought. I absolutely love this and I got the one ounce. What was wrong with me? What was I thinking? So now I need to buy like the big bottle of this fragrance because I absolutely love it. You definitely need to check this one out. Tom Ford, this is Noir Parfum and I even love the packaging and it's got the TF on the on the lid. I just love it. I've been raving about this to my friends and this is definitely something I think y'all should check out. Okay, the next perfume, this is by Mugler and this is Angel Muse. Oh my goodness, it's so sweet on the skin. It has that hazelnut in there, but it's also like caramely smelling to me. And it just smells so candy-like and so, but it's fresh. It's not like bogged down and syrupy sweet. It's gonna give you like a headache or anything like that. It has a brightness to it. So it's so smooth and velvety on the skin and warm, just candy-like. Angel Muse, you definitely need to check this one out. Um, this is one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. I absolutely love it. Ever since I got it, I've just loved it so much. So I think you should um, you should try this one out, Angel Muse. Okay, the last fragrance we're going to be talking about, and this is by Replica. This is called By the Fireplace, and I absolutely, undeniably am just so in love with this fragrance. I love it when the weather starts to get cooler and I can wear this. It's just so good. And by the fireplace is exactly what I would describe the smell as. So if you don't like kind of that wood burning kind of smell, then this would not be the fragrance for you. It has that incense smell it's spicy it's got clove in it and it also smells kind of marshmallowy like you know you're roasting marshmallows by the fireplace it just smells amazing i just i can't say enough about this fragrance if you haven't tried any of the replica fragrances you definitely need to try this fragrance it's just woodsy kind of exactly how a wood burning fire smells. You know, a campfire, a fire in the fireplace, and then also it has some sweetness to it. So add in that kind of sweetness with the toasted marshmallowy kind of smell. Even though there's not like a marshmallow note in here, it's just, that's what it reminds me of. It's just wintry goodness in a bottle. Absolutely love this one, definitely check this one out if you can get a sample of it um, i know sephora carries these i don't have it in my store this was a total blind buy for me i think that you know in the, uh, the higher end stores have replica in stock but there are websites that you can go to to get samples and things like that of all of these perfumes that i've talked about today because you definitely want to try them before you buy them because a lot of people I just love fragrances so much and I'm so willing to try them look at the notes and say okay I want to try this so definitely if you if you know by all means if you want to buy by that's that's your choice and this I think you would definitely not regret this this is a gorgeous scent and I highly recommend this one replica by the fireplace Oh my goodness. Okay, so we did it. Those are all of my winter fragrances that I highly, highly recommend to you. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button today and also hit the notification bell and that will let you know every single time I upload a new video, you will get an alert button. Also, I am part of the YouTube community now and I have been posting a few things here and there on what we call as the community tab. And in your settings, make sure that you have the video and the posts um, checked off so that when I do post something on the community tab and it could be a picture it could just be a comment y'all can interact with me but that way you can kind of see that come in your feed it's called a post video and posts anyway so that's just something new I've been experimenting with and this was a highly 
requested video because I did on my community tab a survey and I asked if you wanted to see my winter fragrances versus fragrances for Christmas and this one out I think there were only maybe 150 votes 170 votes something like that that the about 75% wanted the winter fragrances and 25% wanted to see the perfumes you know like a gift guide for Christmas type thing but don't be disappointed because I'm probably going to make one of those too. <laughs> so, and if you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking about making one of those as well as perfumes that make me, you know, get into the holiday spirit or perfumes that I love for Christmas. I would love to do that too. And it may be some of these fragrances that I talked about already, but it's just fun to talk about Christmas. Who doesn't love to talk about the holidays? So um, just leave me some comments down below. I love to hear from y'all and let me know what fragrances you love during the winter months. I would love to know if there's some fragrances I don't have in my collection that I can maybe add. I'm always up to adding new scents to my collection. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all and I hope to see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.